Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. And yeah, it really has been a while. I hope you are keeping safe, you're well, you're healthy, you're very, very happy. And I just thought because it's been a while um, that I've uploaded a YouTube video, I thought the best one to do is just to really update you on everything that's been going on. It has been a few weeks since I've uploaded and you'll see on my Instagram if you follow me on there that I have been posting a lot of, kind of like a lot of my personal life, a lot of changes that has been happening. And I kind of got to a stage in my life where I was happy, you know, like putting myself first, you know, doing my work and yeah, just putting everything into that. So yeah, but we will get into it. I feel like I'm kind of bad at um, storytelling. I really kind of, I'm all quite random with my points, but hopefully you'll enjoy this video. And yeah, I really wanted to do a catch up video. Instead of doing like my usual fashion, it's been a while. I really want to keep you guys up to date with my life and yeah, just what's been happening. And I love having that relationship with you guys. It means so much to me. So yeah, hopefully you enjoy the video. I have got my notes here. So I asked you guys on my Instagram, I did a little Q&A saying I'm going to do a video and yeah, please send in your questions. So I've picked 10 here that I will answer and I thought let's just like, I'm going to curl my hair, I'm going to, I want to do something like, I feel like my makeup videos, I'm all over the place trying to talk in, I feel like I'm a multitasker but I'm just, it's organised chaos in a way, that's how Ali describes my stuff and I would agree. So again thank you so much to my wonderful, loving, loyal supporters for joining me with this video and following my journey over on Instagram as well, it means everything to me and if you're new here thank you so much for clicking and yeah you'll get to know me a little bit more in this video as well so I really hope you enjoy and let's get into the questions. So I think we can all agree that like all of our lives have changed because of COVID and the world at the moment and we can also agree that we are seeing an exciting change as well that we are able to move forward and just kind of get back to normality and I've really really missed it so I just want to say I hope you are all really well and let me know what you've been up to please let me know in the comments like how you are it means so much to me knowing that you guys are well and I just love talking to you on my Instagram as well so yeah I want more chat on here I feel like there's not much chat in the comments so it'll be be really nice to have that communication over on YouTube as well as I have it with you guys over on my Instagram um, but yeah we're gonna get into the questions but I did want to say that because I feel like so much has been changing over the last especially couple of weeks um, so I just really hope you guys are well and over in the UK we are seeing some Sun so I feel like that's kind of given everyone a bit of a positive mood and possible holiday and it's very exciting so I'm gonna start off with the most asked question can you guess what it is it's um, how I met Ali like, like shock we met on Instagram and the thing is like we've kind of like known each other for about I would say since 2018 for a couple of years not known each other but like we've known of each other um so he followed me on Instagram and um he like DM'd me and we started talking but nothing really came about like the chat didn't really go anywhere and so yeah it didn't really like the chat didn't really last that long and so I then just kind of like stopped replying <laughs> and I feel really awful now like talking about it but at the time I'm, I'm like I'm serious like to me chat is such a big part um so yeah um it didn't really go anywhere so he started kind of replying to my stories and being really sweet and complimenting me and that was really nice and again a couple of conversations like started again but again it didn't really go anywhere so yeah I then started dating other guys and I'm sure he was dating other people as well um, and I just think the timing wasn't right and it's really odd actually because when um, uh, when I kind of think if they're the right person it's always the right time that's what I believed but I, I've just like been proven so wrong because with Ali, like if we started talking then, it just wouldn't, it wouldn't have been right. So you really can meet the right person at the wrong time, 100%. Um, so yeah, I kind of like, I get that now and I, and I, and I didn't used to. Um, by the way, the colours I'm using are from Bombay Hair. I'll link them down below. They're pretty old. I probably need new ones. And if you don't know who Ali is, by the way, so his name's Ali Price, and he's a couple of years older than me, and he's a professional rugby player. And honestly, I I liked watching rugby, but I didn't know how it worked. Like, I didn't know the tournaments, how it all worked. I literally didn't know rugby at all. I just kind of enjoyed watching it. I do love watching sports. I've always enjoyed sport, but yeah, I just didn't 
really know how it worked. So basically the point where um, it started was back in February and I'm not kidding, I was at a stage in my life where I was kind of like I'm working on a massive project guys and I've mentioned it a couple of times to you. It's like literally been my dream um, like for so long and I'm making it happen and I've got the most amazing family supporting me, I wouldn't be able to do it without them and it literally is just me doing it. You know like when you see kind of influencers doing their own brand or their own thing online um, over on Instagram they've got a huge team. Um, it's kind of like it works like an agency so they basically just kind of do the work and um, you're kind of like involved a little bit in kind of designing and things but yeah they're basically the ones in charge of all the social media like keeping on top of packaging and things like that and um, I looked into that but um, because, oh I don't want to give too much away, um, but basically it's literally just me doing it. So um, a lot of my time has been going into that, which is again another reason why I haven't been putting my all into YouTube. With all of that going on um, with work, I remember going on a walk with mum, um, just saying it's kind of like the first time in my life where I'm not really looking um, for someone, because I have always loved love, you know, I love being loved, I love loving someone, I'm such a romantic, and I've always been kind of the single one as well, my sister's always been the one in relationships, and so and now because she's married, I did kind of feel that pressure of trying to find someone, you know, I did have kind of, you know, we all have a little list of important things to us, but that's another question down here by the way of like what's important to me in relationships, so I'll go on to that. My brother-in-law, so Tom who's married to my sister, he loves rugby and he's a Scottish fan. The day that they were playing England, yeah they won and it was just like a massive thing and Tom was like you should, you know, like you send him a message and congratulate him and I was like oh I don't know because we've spoken before and it didn't really get anywhere and I'm just like, mm, I, I am bad for one not wasting, I don't like to waste time either, like I don't want to sound rude or anything, but I'm so bloody impatient. I sent him a message just saying like congratulations, um, and again pretending I knew rugby when I really didn't. We really laugh about it now, but yeah, and we just started talking, and then um, it, the, the chat did like, I think it went off for a couple of days, and then I came back again, I, I am bad at replying on um, Instagram, uh, and yeah, and so I, I kind of disappeared, but then I came back again and replied, and then we exchanged numbers, so we were like talking on WhatsApp, and then I am one, right, that sends voice notes, I've just always been like that, I don't really text, I enjoy voice noting more, um, just so you can hear someone better. Um, but then I'm also someone who's like, I can't be asked phoning someone, so <laughs> I think voice notes, they're just like the best thing for me. So I'm a voice note gal, and um, he actually sent me a voice note first, and because um, he's from Scotland, he's in Glasgow, um, I was kind of expecting like a Glaswegian accent, and um, but he actually had a really lovely deep English accent, and I am, I, I do love that, I do like... A voice is actually an important thing for me, like I, I find a voice sexy and he had like the perfect voice and he just came across as such a lovely guy and I was like oh he's really sweet and so we started talking on there and um, yeah and the rest is history guys, like we were literally sending, we call them audiobooks, we were sending like 12, 10, each 10 minute voice notes to each other and we were just connecting and clicking so well and it's just so interesting how we didn't click before but again that's another example of timing and I also believe it's fate, I don't know how many of you guys are kind of spiritual or kind of like into things like that and believe in those kind of things but I, I have an open mind, I love to believe in different things and when you kind of experience it I truly believe it was fate because Tom hadn't of said you know Ali Price like and if my sister hadn't of met Tom um, I wouldn't be this happy and I wouldn't be with Ali so it's just really interesting and um, we just connect on such an incredible level like we are literally so in love guys and it's just been such a whirlwind and I've never been so happy he's my soulmate like we say it to each other all the time um, it's just a, a, such a magical feeling I don't want to get too soppy on here but yeah like when you know you know and so we were talking for months because of Covid, we were talking um, for months on FaceTimes, you know we were FaceTiming like all the time and we 
um, eventually managed to meet when the restrictions were lowered. But also, um, he is tested like twice a week with rugby anyway, so he's incredibly safe. So um, yeah, I got the train to Glasgow, and I'm not kidding. We were I was in the train station, and he was at the bottom of the stairs, and I was at the top. And I just remember like looking down, and he looked up, and we both just like stopped and stared at each other. It was just like an instant thing. And um, yeah, we've just like literally been together like since. I'd like never experienced that before, that kind of instant like attraction, the instant connection, um, it was just amazing. And yeah, we've kind of been like inseparable so far. I mean, obviously when he goes away for games and he's currently on the Lions tour, so this is like, we've never been away for this long and we're kind of in that place of we're just totally obsessed with each other. So it's really, really hard. But yeah, we're talking all the time, FaceTiming and all that, so it's all good. But anyway, I think I've nearly done my hair, guys, and I'm still on the first bloody question. That's what I'm saying. I just, I just talk and talk and talk. So yeah, there we go. I mean, I feel like I've kind of answered the second question, which is how happy are you right now in life? Like, everyone is so happy for us. Um, he came to meet the family like the third second time I've met him like it's happened people can say you're moving really forward like really fast but I'm not kidding guys it feels so right like it feel it would feel weird taking it slower if that makes any sense like when you know you know like what's the point in waiting in a way and I've met his family um and everything is just so bloody exciting and um I'm incredibly happy and I love how you guys can see that like my mum says it just kind of like radiates like and on social media I've been getting the most amazing loving messages from you guys and it just means everything to me and more it's such an amazing feeling being loved by someone um who loves you the way you love if that makes any sense I've always been in relationships or I've always been seeing people where I've always been the giving one and they've never kind of given back to me in the way that I do do you know what I mean so yeah we're just totally on the same page like we're totally on the same level and it's just everything um and people like when we when I went to meet his friends and things like that people say we can see how in love you are and that's also another thing like I am a romantic person such a romantic person but I've also been so used to my own company um, so when I kind of like, yeah, I feel like that does kind of affect my affection, my affectionate side, um, but with Ali he just brings it out and it's just things like, little things like in the morning, like when you're seeing someone, oh my gosh, you want to run into that toilet, you want to brush your teeth, have a wee, you want to put a little bit of makeup on, that no makeup makeup look, you know girls, you know what I'm saying, and yeah, it's kind of like, with Ali I wake up who I am just little things like you don't care like when you love someone you don't care about the little things that you worry about when you're dating or seeing someone if that makes any sense um and yeah just kind of like getting out of the shower like he's seen me with looking like a drowned rat and he's still like do you know what I mean I'm like god he still loves me <laughs> but yeah sorry guys I'm literally getting I'm so soppy yeah so I feel like I shouldn't be sorry but um I think it's just kind of different to what you're used to in a way because I mean I've had my down times you know I did a video on heartbreak you know so I have kind of been through it so yeah it's probably just a bit weird because I haven't really been keeping you updated on here but hopefully you've seen you know you follow me on Instagram and hopefully you've been seeing that um but yeah the third question is tips on self um what was it um tips on self-confidence and self-love so I said during that story um I found a bit where I didn't curl by the way I was at that stage where I finally felt content within myself and putting myself first. It's a difficult thing, like it is. Everyone, you know, I think people go on about kind of like being on a self-love journey. Um, and it really is. It's kind of like um, getting to that stage where you really look at yourself and you admire and you love who you really are. Not everyone is the same. Like, you are unique to yourself. So, um, I think it's just kind of appreciating all the little things about you. I mean, there's bits about me that, you know, I don't like, no matter how much you say you love yourself, you will still have down days, and that's totally normal, so things like, you know, um, I've spoken about, like, my boobs are a different size, and that affected my confidence growing up, how small I am, that affected my confidence growing up, 
and so it's all these kind of like little things but they all add up and you know you have your down days you do kind of grow up and get to a stage where you appreciate and love those things so when I was in school you kind of you know surrounded by all of this pressure you're surrounded by how you should look what you know what is perfect what isn't perfect and things like that um, and it is very damaging um, and I do think social media gets quite a lot of shit um, when it is a powerful amazing thing as well um, when people say you need to love yourself before someone can love you I don't actually agree because I'm not the most self-confident person like in the slightest but then Ali has really helped me um, to like he loves everything about me and it's he's literally made me blossom in a way and so yeah I feel like when you meet someone and they see things that you don't or they see things in a different light because you're just kind of constantly looking at yourself and judging yourself you know in the mirror um, and yeah they sometimes the, the people around you who love you the most are the ones that will help you the most um, and I feel so many of us kind of lock up, you know ourselves away from the people that really love us it's really important to talk um, to the people that love you the most like I said and yeah just kind of don't hide yourself away you do grow into yourself lovelies like always remember that you're always growing and people come into your life and they leave um, and they have an impact on your life even if you don't realize it so yeah I was kind of at a stage where do you know what I am who I am um, I kind of love how petite I am now actually I kind of like how small I am and I'm kind of doing a project about that and um which I will reveal all soon um and like my boobs like yeah it's annoying that one is smaller than the other but then when I worked in a bra shop that helped my confidence as well because I was meeting so many women in the same situation like who had like it's normal like it's so normal um to have one bigger than the other just remember that you're never alone and then you'll meet someone who truly loves you for who you are and it's the most incredible feeling so yeah I really hope that helps I felt like there's small questions but I'm doing huge answers and sorry if I'm talking too much and then these colours have been on for a long time and I still got hair to curl but um we are on question number four and it was how to find a healthy relationship so again very similar to the things that I was just saying um it's realizing your self-worth like so if you're with someone and they pick out the things you don't like or you feel you know I'm nervous about or conscious about they don't truly love you that's not healthy so yeah it's quite hard to um, describe and explain but a healthy relationship is basically someone who brings out the best in you um, someone who loves you for who you are um, when you don't change yourself is aware of your passions and you and, and what you love and what you want in life and they want to kind of support you and be there for that um, these are massive things for me anyway and this is kind of um I'm um, answering the next question which is what personality traits are most important to your relationship so to me you guys are probably getting really nervous that I keep waving this wand about uh, to me it's um, generosity it's just being so loving very romantic someone who loves and respects other beings so like animals and it's very important to me the animal thing someone who's also ambitious and incredibly funny so I've dated someone that just hasn't made me laugh at all um, and yeah kind of having that band having that excitement is really important and also the attraction as well and yeah someone who's very ambitious who knows what they want in life who is successful in doing that I find that very very hot, very sexy, you know, someone who loves life and wants to go for a live it and yeah, who's just a very loving person, very funny. So yeah, kind of like, I feel like everyone has very similar, um, you know, kind of wants in a relationship and you have to kiss a lot of frogs until you get there, unfortunately. Some people are lucky, but yeah, um, for me, I have kissed a lot of frogs to get to where I am today and yeah I wouldn't have I would never have thought this time last year um, that I would be with Ali so someone as amazing as him so yeah it's life throws at you very interesting things and you've just got to take it you know you've got to be open to different parts of your life that come along um, even when you're not expecting it um, and so the next question is how to keep pushing oh in fact no I'll answer this one worst day I've ever been on do you know what, when I wrote this one down I was really trying to think because I've been on interesting dates if that makes any sense so um, I think I've told you guys before that I um, my hair caught fire on a date which was interesting but I wouldn't say that was like a bad date because the guy was really sweet and really nice um, but my hair just caught fire so it's pretty um, 
what is going on here? Thing is, I've never ever once like walked out on someone, like I just wouldn't do that. I've been, I've like dated people where I kind of felt like this isn't going anywhere, but I would never walk out or be rude like that. Um, I'm really trying to think worst days. I can, okay, I can think of, um, I wouldn't say worst with like bad connotations. I would just say worst as in like I was fucked, like I was drunk, um, it ended like badly with my airpods i don't know if i even told you guys this story it's the funniest thing so i um went on two dates with this guy so shock met him on tinder and he actually um drove up from dundee um to see me which is really nice because usually um you know massive red flag no not red flag green flag for me um because usually i'm the one that travels to go see them so it's really nice that he put in the effort and for the first date as well to come see me i really appreciated that so um we just went for foods and drinks it was pretty cash and it was really really nice um i wouldn't say we connected like but he was just a nice guy so i was like i kind of finished the date and i was like there wasn't a spark there but he was sweet so i want to give him another go and he wasn't my usual type either i would say um so yeah i just wanted to like give it a go i was kind of at that point where I was kind of sick of going for guys that were my usual type, um, so yeah, I was like, just do something a little bit different, he was really, really sweet. Anyway, a second day, this is where it went horribly wrong on my part. So we went out for bowling, it was kind of like afternoon, we went out for bowling, went really well, but I started to drink, you know, he got me on the wines, I say he got me on the wines, it was, a, it was a joint decision. And yeah, so I started drinking wine and I'm such a lightweight guys, you know this, so yeah, when the white wine started it was just not good. So yeah, I just got really drunk at bowling and then we went to have some food for dinner and drinks again and we went out and I had like a porn star martini, so I had wine, then I had a cocktail. Um, and usually I'm really on it with my drink because of my sick phobia, I'm terrified of being sick so I was amazed that I kept going, I must have been so nervous but yeah basically I um, went to get the bus home and I thought like I was on the bus and I was like leaning back and I was like heavily breathing because I was terrified I was really sick and I was like don't be sick, don't be sick, don't be sick and I like believe in angels, I believe like in like that we have you know people looking down on us so I was kind of I was like talking to my angels on the bus and I was going please take away my sicky belly <laughs> I wonder if anyone was watching just really drunk and um I missed I fell asleep and I missed my stop it's like an hour on the bus and I missed my stop and um I got so my dad actually phoned me and it woke me up and I looked out the window and it's black so it was like during the winter and I was like oh my god like where am I um and then I went when I when up, but things when I woke up, my AirPods one fell out, one like came out, and um landed. I thought it hit like it landed in the heating system of the bus, and I was like, shit, I've only just got these. And I was like on my hands and knees on the dirty bus, guys. And you know me, like I just thought it was something I would do. And I was on my hands and knees trying to look for my AirPods. I couldn't find them. I was like, oh my god, shit, they've gone in the air, the heat heating. So I went down to um, the bus driver and I was like, mate, where are we? And he was like. Um, we're in, um, it was like this village that just passed me and I was like okay so I wasn't that far away and so I was like oh can I just get off here and I was like I've lost my airpod I can't find them and I was like getting very like stressed I wasn't emotional I was just like oh I can't find them good shit and um, and yeah so my dad came and picked me up and the next morning it just kind of hit me like it was really embarrassing and apparently the whole night the guy was like you just wouldn't stop talking about like your ex and I was like oh mate that's well that's rough so I basically just kind of felt sorry for him it's not really like worst day in like what he did it was like what I did basically I was going to say long story short past that um the I did hear from the um buses we phoned um told them story and the bus driver actually found the airpod when he went back to um to drop the bus off and so I got them back the next day amazing so good and the next question is my home and lock screen guys do you want to know what my home and lock screen is let me show you it's actually really really cute i've just kind of recently changed it actually hair done let me finally turn these off they'll probably be so hot i've been talking for so long so my home and lock screen let me remove 
all of these notifications so you can see. So it's Anli, as you can, can you see the ring light is incredibly annoying. So there, he is so cute with his little shades on. I took that picture when he came up to see my family and it was such a lovely weather. We went to the lake and we had a picnic and he was standing there and I just kind of like took a picture up and yeah, I, just, I love that picture of him. I think it's really sweet. There we go. And my, um, my home screen is pretty boring. It's just kind of like plain, just so... Um, it's nicer so I can like see the apps properly. So the last couple of questions, I've got style inspo. Do you know what? My style has changed so, so much. Like I'm constantly changing my wardrobe, I'm constantly getting rid of things, like constantly buying things, um, and doing like my own project, I'm going to say, um, has really changed things as well. It's very, very exciting. Like I would say probably um, Hayley Bieber, I love structure, like I just love like designer vibes, make you go wow, like that edgy, I like minimal but I love a pop of colour, um, I think you know what I like because of my fashion videos, um, but I have really been getting into colour and kind of pattern lately which is so weird for me, it's like a brand new me, <laughs> but yeah I'm really, um, really enjoying the spring and summer vibes that are coming in, I really like, um, is it Muggler? Um, I keep seeing them on Instagram and their stuff is just so sexy, so cool, like I am Gia, you know, really different sexy things um, I really, really like. So yeah, I would say kind of, um, you know, like, you know, Bella Deed, you know, kind of the models wear really cool things. I love Rosie Huntington Wiley, her stuff is so classy, so, like, her style is amazing. I think everyone loves her style. So yeah, I would say that. And my signature scent, in fact, I should have brought it up with me. But for years I've been using um, Ted Baker perfume and they're cruelty free. I don't know if they're vegan though, so I'm going to look into that actually, but I, I know they're cruelty free. Um, so yeah, it was um, the Mia perfume, the little pink one. It's an oldie but a goldie and I love it. I haven't really got a signature smell, but that one I wear a lot. Um, the other ones I wear a lot, the Kat Von D one is really nice. I can't remember what it's called though, but I really like that one. And um, I have just discovered um, Lush perfumes and I really like the one that's called Sun and it's got like Jamaican orange oil in it and it's just like, it's so, they're pricey but they're really lovely and one spray like is enough, you know, so I really like their perfumes but there's so many new vegan ones coming out. I know, um, is it Le Labo? Um, they're really nice, and um, there's another one, but I can't remember what it's called, but there's so many. I think I did, I did that, you know that Christmas video I did last year on like vegan presents and ideas? Yeah, I just wanted to spread light on all these amazing little brands that are coming out. Um, so yeah, um, I'll link that down below if you're interested. And I was also getting a lot of um, questions on how I edit my Instagram, how I edit my pictures, um, and like how I do my feeds, and I did a video um, on that, so I'll link that down below as well, but I, it, might, it could do with an update, you know, so I could do another one. But I'm just going to brush my hair, so after I curl my hair, usually I put extensions in, but um, lately I, I really haven't guys, like I, I'm really happy with how my hair is going. I'm not kidding, I've just been using nothing but that horse mane and tail shampoo and conditioner, I've been using it for years, and um, I'm just so happy, like, I wouldn't, like my hair has just completely transformed. Um, and yeah, I, I hardly ever use extensions anymore, I'm just so happy with my hair, but I have to say, I have been wearing my hair up a lot, you know, like those kind of tight, sleek buns um, for Instagram, so I don't, there was a point where I was curling my hair every day, I literally curl it like, even like once a week, not even that, and I think the no heat has really helped, I know you've heard it before on no heat, but it really does, like, I think that's what's really helped me. And just not doing much to my hair either, you know, like, I come out of the shower, I put in a bun, and, yeah, leave it for a couple of days, you know. So, yeah, I would say just kind of go through, give yourself, like, six months even. I think COVID has really helped. I was wearing my hair up a lot in COVID. wasn't really going yet. So, yeah, just things like that. Um, I feel like just kind of doing less to my hair. Like, doing more, but doing less. But yeah, guys, they are the questions all done so thank you so much for sending those in I really hope this wasn't boring and it wasn't too soppy but I'm not gonna say sorry because I've literally like always wanted to meet someone like Ali he's literally my perfect guy and I'm just so excited at like our future together like the most exciting thing is coming up for me Ali is experiencing the most incredible you know journey he's ever been on with the Lions tour so it's a very exciting 
work year for us and um yeah and I'm gonna move down to Glasgow obviously still like come up and see my family you know every so often when he goes away for games or something like that I'll still come up but yeah I really am moving my life and you know my YouTube all my setup and everything down there so and I've never moved out from home before you guys know how close I am with my fam you know I'm uh, I've never done student accommodation, like through uni, I was spending three hours of my day travelling because um, I stayed at home, I've just never moved out and I think I never had the confidence to, but since meeting Ali my life has just turned upside down in the best possible way um, and yeah, it's just, it, it, then, it, it then becomes very, very fucking excited, so yeah, I'm, I'm very, very happy and I'm, 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 I feel really it's refreshing sharing it with you because usually when I do these talk videos something bad has happened and and yeah I just want to talk it through and I just want to say a massive thank you to you all for your wonderful support and just your loving messages please let me know how you guys are you know what you've been up to lately if you've got any fun plans coming up and you know where to find me over my Instagram as well like I post every day on there so yeah just send me a DM and yeah I just love talking to you guys so thank you again for being so amazing you know where to catch me over on my Instagram and I'm on TikTok as well and if you're new here if you want to hit that subscribe button that would mean everything supporting me on my journey it's just everything so thank you so so much I think I've said thank you about 10 million times so I'm gonna head now have a lovely day <laughs> love you lots and I'll see you soon lovelies bye